Good morning, Bulldogs. For our special announcements, seniors, if you're interested in giving a speech at graduation, make sure to submit your application and draft by March 20th. For a full list of speech guidelines and submission information, check out the daily announcements. The Math Lab added a new time to their schedule. Starting this week, the Math Lab will be open after school Monday through Thursday until 4.05 p.m. Check the daily announcements for more academic lab information. On Wednesday, March 6th, our band and choir program will combine with Big Hollow and Gavin South for their annual Music in Our Schools concert. Join our talented Bulldogs, Warriors, and Tigers in the field house for a night of wonderful music. The concert is free to everyone, but donations are greatly appreciated. The boosters need your help covering shifts in the concession stands. Check the announcements for their sign-up link and volunteer today. Speaking of the boosters, they are selling Letterman jackets. Their store closes on March 4th and deliveries will be made the week of March 19th. Check the daily announcements for the store link. For clubs and activities, our mathletes competed at regionals over the weekend and took fourth place. While they did not advance as a full team, they did have 10 Bulldogs qualify for the state competition. Congratulations to the following Bulldogs, Ella Rowe, who took third place in geometry, Colin Nordyke, who took fourth in algebra two, Caden Zeller, who took fifth for geometry, Tazir Moomin and Jira Lanzer, who, took, who tied for sixth place in algebra two, Kristen Rose, who took ninth for pre-calculus, and our geometry team made up of Raub, Zeller, Nicole Sack, Paulina Kolosova, Joey Rayner, Sarah Schmidt, for taking second place. Other noteworthy placements include our Algebra 2, Pre-Calculus, and Junior-Senior eight-person teams who all took third. And last but not least is our calculator team and Evan Weishait who competed for Oralist, both took fourth place. Although the team did not advance as a whole, they, they have a very good shot to advance when at-large qualifiers are announced within the next two weeks. K9 Connections is taking a trip on March 6th to learn more about animal care and control. If you are interested in attending, reach out to Mrs. Trevithick. They'll be meeting outside the auditorium right after school on March 6th. Got books? Support the Freshman Class Council by donating books for Bernie's Book Bank. We are looking for books ages 1 to 12 and will be collecting donations from February 28th to April 3rd. Donations can be dropped off at the Grant Library or the bookstore. For every book donated, you will receive one raffle ticket. Raffle tickets can be used to earn prizes such as gift cards and a donut party. Email Ms. Barker or, or Ms. Weaver with any questions. Make sure to mark your calendars and grab all the spare change you can find for Grant's Got Talent. Our talented Bulldogs will be taking the stage on March 8th and can't wait to show off their skills. Although we have a secret panel of judges in the audience, we need your help in deciding who gets the Audience Choice Award. The performer who receives the most change in their bucket by the end of the night will earn this award. So check your couch cushions and prepare to bust up your piggy banks because Grant's Got Talent is just one week away. Check out the Grant's Got Talent Instagram page for show updates and learn more about who is emceeing this year. If you're interested in joining Fall Color Guard, please email Ms. Scholar and ask for the sign-up form. All interested students must sign up by March 15th. For athletics, Ayani Jasinski competed at the third annual IHSA Girls Wrestling State Finals over the weekend and earned her spot on the podium for the third year in a row. There was a lot of tough competition at state and Ayani kept pushing through every match, continuously giving it her all. After securing her place on the podium and becoming an all-state athlete for the third time in her career, she went up against returning state champ Emma Engels and took down the champ 5-2, and then took out Rylan Yunker to earn third place. She finished her career as a Grant wrestler with a season record of 22-4 and, and a career record of 55-10, and, and a three-time All-State wrestler placing fourth, first, and third. We are incredibly proud of her resilience and grit and for all she has done for Grant wrestling. She goes down as one of the best to strap up the Grant singlet. Congratulations, Ayani. 
Our freshman and sophomore grapplers compete in the IWCOA Fresh Soft Regional and finish their weekend with four regional champions, 13 sectional qualifiers, and a team champion title earning 312 points. Not only did they take the top spot as a team, but their score was more than double the second place team, which is amazing. Regional champs include Carter Hutchinson, Kyron Ge Gebert, Grayson Lennon, and Matthew Longabau. In addition to our regional champs, our sectional qualifiers include Larry Quirk, David Asensio, John Von Hone, Aiden Arroyo, Tyler Zidon, Mikey Cronkite, Casey Gibson, Rael De Leon, and Landon Jones. They are heading to Lake Zurich this Sunday for sectionals. Check out Grant Wrestling's social media for more updates on their sectional competition. Girls soccer, lacrosse, softball, badminton, and boys volleyball have opened their team stores. Check the daily announcements for store links and purchase some new Grant gear for the spring season. Boys volleyball starts on Monday. If you're interested in trying out for the program, make sure to register and turn in a current physical before the end of the day on Monday. Check the daily announcements for more information. Today, our varsity boys and girls track and field teams are headed to Hampshire for, for a meet. Tomorrow, the varsity boys track and field program is heading to Buffalo Grove for an invite. Good luck to all our Bulldogs competing this weekend. You got this. For student services, the counselors are gearing up for their first meeting of the First Gen Bulldogs group. This group focuses on helping first generation students who are looking to attend college learn more about the application process, financial aid, and more. If you're interested in joining, reach out to your, to your school counselor today. For College and Career Center, we have several college reps scheduled to visit us in March. Next week, reps from North Central College and University of Louisville will be here on March 7th. Check out the College and Career Center for a full list of college rep visits and sign up today to attend. This week's highlighted career is focusing on air traffic controllers. Did you know that the median annual wage for an air traffic controller is $132,250 and the education requirement is an associate's degree? Yeah. If you're interested in becoming an air traffic controller or need help planning for after high school at all, reach out to Miss Missouri. Well, that's all from us this week. Have a great day, enjoy your weekend, and remember, keep it red, Bulldogs.